Greetings, and welcome to a very special episode of Destination Nostalgia, dedicated to Outright Games, the perfect place to begin your gaming adventure. Filled with family-friendly titles, ranging from Peppa Pig to Jumanji, fit within all ages, and desire gameplay. Today, let's explore the set titles shown here in my, my physical collection, the PS4, on the left, and the Switch on the right, and rank them as we go. Let's get started. In release date order, we start with Ben 10, the very first game published by Alright Games, a simple beat-em-up game developed by Taurus Games. Nothing special, but I do like the moveset mechanic and bonus objectives, encouraging me to score more points for upgrades to all 10 aliens, hence the name Ben 10. It's a bland start for the company, so I'm gonna rate this 6 out of 10. In 2018, we got Hotel Transylvania 3 Monsters Overboard, which is based on the third Hotel Transylvania movie series by Sony Pictures Animation of the same name. It's the game where you rescue all the Hotel Transylvanian monsters with a little help of the strange looking creatures called Impa to get back on the ship before the sun rises. If you're a big fan of Pikmin, then this game title might be right for you. The gameplay itself is bland, though not as bland as Ben 10 as far as the music scores go. Thanks to the audio and music compositions by Dan McDonald and Julian Lagden from Taurus Games. Though, I have heard music compositions way more nostalgic in the very next game title. As for this one, I'm going to rate this 6.5 out of 10 because of that reason, though not by a big margin. Later that same year, is the most nostalgic video game title with the best overall music compositions by Taurus Games, in my opinion, Paw Patrol on a Roll. It's what I call a real treat for the young and old. Recommended for young players the basics of platforming and collectathon skills. It's like a perfect tutorial on how to play them. The soundtrack, composed by Michael Allen from Taurus Games, is absolutely phenomenal. Especially true with his score of the volcano, the bay, and the river. In addition, it fits extremely well with this spectacular game title. The moveset mechanics, characters slash landscape designs, are also great within its Unity engine. The Switch version of this title is the first Outright Games title I bought. And boy was I happy. Nothing can beat this title. What can be better? Despite missing the voice talent for all eight of the Paw Patrol Pops, I would rate this game a chase out of 10. Chase meaning 100. It's that good. Moving on to 2019, we got Ice Age Scrat's Nutty Adventure, developed by Just Add Water in the United Kingdom. Interestingly, the PS4 port of this game title has a PS5 upgrade, which makes the moveset mechanics and character slash landscape designs more impressive than the Switch port. That does not mean that the Switch version is bad. I've seen its shining moments here and there. The puzzle slash boss challenges and secrets seem to be quite intriguing in this game title. And Scrat's voice talent and evasive actions are cartoonish like all Ice Age franchises. The other animal sound effects, though, are 
quite scary, especially for the ones that you only have to sneak past instead of attack to rev up the suspense. All in all, this game title seems to fit well within my collection, giving it an 8 out of 10. Next, in 2020, we got Paw Patrol My Pup Save Adventure Bay, developed by Drakkar Studio. The front design of the case art, in my opinion, is by far the most colorful and pleasing to many children's eyes. Like the first game, there's no voice talent for all eight pups. However, in this game title, the character design slash animations seem to be more adorable in my opinion. Though, I feel different about the gameplay mechanics. Despite being a fun 3D action adventure game, there are noticeable moveset glitches. Some make you want to restart the whole level. But, they're temporary. I still made them through regardless. However, the loading screens seem to be quite long, especially for a Nintendo Switch port. At least, the PS5 upgrade on the PS4 version compensates that. Though overall, I would rate this an 8 out of 10 because of the case art and adorable character animations being the best here. But nothing beats the music compositions on Paw Patrol on a roll. Before we move on to the next game title, do you know that Alray Games now has the Ambassadors Club? It is a program through Discord where you can share gameplay videos, discuss upcoming releases, and much more through the respective company. There are special awards depending on the Ambassador level. Find out more at the website to see how you become one. Anyway, the next game in the lineup is Paw Patrol the Movie Adventure City Calls, based on the 2021 animated movie of the same name. Like the previous Paw Patrol game title, this is developed by Drakkar Studio with similar 3D action adventure objectives. However, they are more difficult than the previous, and the loading screens are longer too, Nintendo Switch port once again being the longest here. Even with the PS5 upgrade on the PS4 version, it's still quite long. I guess Drakkar Studio's Unity engine seems to be notorious for very long loading screens, but hey, at least they fixed a little bit on the moveset glitches. Once again, there's no voice talent added for 7 Paw Patrol pups listed on this game title. The minigames are fun. However, the Paw Paw Boogie's results screen takes forever to score, hopefully to reach for the gold. Overall, this game title receives a 6 out of 10, in my opinion. Besides, the movie itself is way better. <clears throat> no offense, Alvray Games. Coming up next, we got The Addams Family Mansion Mayhem, based on the two animated movies of the same name by MGM. This game title reminds me of Super Mario 64, except with up to four players and mini games that I found to be quite fun. In addition, I like how the Addams Family keep the variety on how to platform in different sections of the game including the Mazurka Saber, Spider Sling, Baller Bomb, and Octo String. PHL Collective's Unity Engine, as far as the moveset mechanics, character, and landscape designs are concerned, they seem to be quite an improvement over track cars, so overall, I'm giving this an 8 out of 10. The last game for the 2021 collection is PJ Mask Heroes of the Night. The gameplay is similar to Paw Patrol on a roll though, except with many ways to platform with each PJ Mask character. The moves and mechanics and character slash landscape designs seem to be alright. The music scores are nothing special though, so I'm gonna get this 7.5 out of 10. Onward to 2022, 
we got Hotel Transylvania Scary Tale Adventures. This is their last video game title developed by Drakkar Studio. It is quite simply the Hotel Transylvanian style of three fairy tales, including Aladdin, The Little Red Riding Hood, and The Emperor's New Clothes. The gameplay does remind me of Spyro the Dragon because of the familiar glide mechanic and collect-a-thon approaches. The notorious loading screams still remain in this game title, however. Enemy glitches also appear, whether by not spawning in a specific area, or impossible to beat after some special move. Once again, it's temporary, I'm pretty sure I got through that with a few tries, However, if that weren't enough, there's a death glitch in one of the cutscenes in the Emperor's New Clothes section. Though that does not affect the gameplay. Overall, it's a 5.5 out of 10 for me. Following the same year, we got Paw Patrol Grand Prix. This is where I think Outright Games would improve greatly with this game title. Unlike previous titles mentioned, this is under the racing genre. The objective is to race against nine different pops, including Ryder, to up to three racing locations all around Adventure Bay. I am thoroughly impressed with 3D Cloud's racing mechanic, especially the speed boost and the ramps, where it makes me fly off of my seat like Sky. Its Unreal Engine is incredibly suitable for this game title to feel like going to an amusement park racing style. Furthermore, it finally has the pop voices, including Rex. They mean a lot to me, even with other children who wanted to bring those ideas to reality for future Paw Patrol games. Normally, I am not a racing fan, but I would give this game title 9 out of 10 because of those impressive features. This may be one of the best racing games in my video game collection. And that concludes my Outright Games review video. What's that? There's one more. Well, what is it then? Holy Chase Crackers! You mean this game title? Well, I recently played this, and boy, did it almost met my expectations. It's a 3D open world based game where all eight pups explore up to four mind blowing locations all around the Paw Patrol universe. And to rescue the Paw Patrol Day Festival from the mischievous Mayor Humdinger and the Kin Catastrophe crew, the exploration is quite immersive, and the recurring pup voice talent is adorable as ever. I wish there are more places to explore like the Dino Realm and Adventure City, in addition with hands-on experiences with each pup's abilities. But hey, it's a kid's game. I appreciate Alray Games' simplicity here. Overall, that is another Chase Out of 10 title. So, what are your opinions and rankings for mentioned Alray Games titles, or others listed within their catalog? Please let us know in the comments section below. Thank you, Nostalgia Seekers, for your attention and watching this special video. We'll see you next time as we unveil the hidden wonders of Destination Nostalgia.